children today i am going to talk about all the most important derivations of optics just check that you know them very well you prepared them and at least two to three times you have written them without seeing the derivation the first derivation is refraction through single curved surface this derivation is very important and frequently asked in board paper in semester 2 exam the second very important derivation is lens makers formula just check that you are well prepared with these derivations for third important derivation of lenses is this derivation of combination of two lenses when their focal length is f1 and f2 and along with it the different type of conceptual questions are also asked that i will ask in the next video but this in this video i will just talk about the important derivations of optics both ray as well as wave optics if you want to uh, know about the answers or derivations so i will give you pdf link in description also a playlist for second semester exam is uh, ready with all the important questions of all the topics of semester 2 exam so you can go through them and can prepare your exam perfectly next important is huygens wave theory you can go through these postulates and check whether your question is ready or not pdf link i will be giving in the description this whole format is exactly the way you should write your answer in your copy and here are very important points which are being asked in one marks question the very very important derivation is derivation of law of reflection and laws of refraction using huygens principle and among that laws of refraction is very very expected question for this year then there are two important derivations one from interference and one from diffraction interference it's related with the young's double slit experiment and the derivation is expression of width of fringe interference fringes so i will be giving all the necessary uh, links video links as well as pdf links in description so that after getting which questions are derivations are very important you can go through the explanation of the answers also so this is the derivation of fringe width expression in young's double slit experiment you can pause video here also and can go through the derivation and this expression is very very important for numericals also so either this derivation will be asked or a numerical from this expression based on this expression will be asked and this expression is also important for your conceptual questions like if slits are closed then what will happen to the fringe width if one slit is closed then what will happen to the fringe width so we will talk about this in the next video tomorrow and then next uh, derivation is from the fraunhofer's diffraction which is in our syllabus here also we are having many one liners which are given in these points so you can go through them and can prepare your uh, paper well but derivation is condition for first minima or fringe width of central maxima this is important diagram explanation i have already explained properly these these topics in uh, those videos which i have prepared for semester 2 exam and this is the condition for first minima similarly for second minima and then the same logic is used to conclude for the nth minima and this expression gives you the central maxima width children width of central maxima is going to be very important this year either a numerical or some question for the central maxima will be asked and that totally depends upon the first minima condition this is first minima condition and that leads to the width of central maxima so now i am going to discuss the rest of the important questions of the optics in the next video all the important videos video link and pdf link i will be giving you in the description